Next, we will be looking at an isochoric process. An isochoric process, as the name implies, is a process where the volume remains constant. This, in other words, implies that the delta V is zero. If delta V is zero and we are considering PV work only, we can say that the work done is zero. This holding and because V is constant, we will be having P being proportional to T as PV equal to nRT. This will imply that P by T is also remaining constant. If we look at Q, this gets modified to delta U only because the W term is not there anymore and hence Q will be equal to NCV delta T. Again, like I told you before, this is one of the standard and special conditions on the molar heat capacity. In case of a constant volume condition, we will be having C or the molar heat capacity going to a special value of CV, which is specific heat capacity, which is heat capacity at constant volume. I forgot to tell you about the graphs which look like uh, in these kind of processes. For an isobaric process, the PV diagram is a horizontal straight line. So this is the kind of area you're looking at. For an isochoric process, you have a vertically straight line. Clearly, this line does not have any area falling under it and thus you are getting work done to be zero. Let us just recapitulate whatever processes we dealt with in a small nutshell diagram. So if this is our PV reference frame or PV coordinate system, we have a process like this, we have a process like this, we have a process like this and we have a process like this. This is our isobaric process. This having the lesser slope is our isothermal process. This is our adiabatic process. And the last one which remains is the isochoric process. So these are the four standard thermodynamic processes we will be dealing with in our further discussions. Let us now solve a small problem. Suppose you have the PV plot here. You have a process that goes from A to B like this. Then you have a process that goes from B to C like this. And it goes back again to A along this line. So we have A to B, B to C and C to A. So this is a cycle. It is said that the gas is ideal It expands isothermally along AB. So this is an isothermal process. And it does 700 joules of work while going from A to B. So WAB is given as 700 joules. What we need to find out is QAB and WCA provided that WBC is given as 400 joules 
and QCA is given as minus 100 joules. So this is our data and we need to find out these two. Let us solve this. For the first process, where we need to find out QAB, this is an isothermal process. Therefore, we know that Q is equal to W because delta U is 0. Therefore, QAB is going to be equal to WAB and this is what is given as 700 joules. So you have your first answer. Second question states that you have to find out work done in C2A. So you need to find out WCA. All you know is this is a cycle and there are some other data furnished. What you can really do is use the concept that in a cycle a gas returns back to its original state which necessarily means that delta U for a cycle is going to be zero because this is a state function. You are returning back to the same state, hence delta u is 0. Now, this holding, you can say that w cycle is going to be equal to q cycle. So the net q of the cycle is going to be equal to the net w of the cycle. If you, if you apply this concept, you will be ending up with wab plus wbc plus wca getting equal to QAB plus QBC plus QCA. It is also given that this process here is an adiabatic process. So from this, you know that this quantity is zero. You have WAB, this is nothing but 700 joules. You also have WBC, which was given to you as 400 joules. And you have WCA, which is what you need to find out. Here, you know QAB, which was given to you, or you, need, you just found it out as 700 joules. QBC is zero. And QCA, was given to you as minus 100 joules. From this equation, you can say that WCA is going to be minus 500 joules. This is a very standard thermodynamic problem you will be facing in your school as well as in entrances. Let us now look at a different kind of or a different series of processes known as the polytropic tropic processes.